Australians were recently surveyed. Now, they were asked the question, why have you not yet bought an EV if you haven't bought one yet? What's the reason? What's holding you back? The biggest concern for Australians was not enough EV charging sites and not enough range. So they're, they're, they're concerned about range anxiety. And the biggest reason for that is, like I said, not enough EV charging locations in Australia. A lot of EV drivers have said it is true. That is a problem. However, in 2023, the number of DC fast chargers in Australia actually doubled. It doubled in a single year. Now, to give you an analogy here, if you were to put a single grain of rice, and I've said this before in the past, I'm sure you've heard it, a single grain of rice on a chessboard, one on the first on the first square, two on the second, four on the third, eight on the fourth, 16, 32, and you just double those grains of rice, what would happen by the time you got to the end of that chessboard? How many grains of rice would you have? You'd actually have more grains of rice than there are grains of sand on the planet. That's insane. It's almost impossible for the human mind to understand the concept of exponential growth. But EV growth rate, EV charging growth rate, has grown exponentially in Australia this year. If we see continued, a similar rate of charging deployment, similar exponential growth in 2024, people will no longer be making these claims. They will no longer be saying this. They'll be saying, hey, hang on, hang on a second. That used to be a gas station. That used to be a petrol station. It's now a DC fast charging site. Better go get myself an electric car. Better be part of the future. The Driven has reported that EV fast charging sites have doubled across Australia in 2023 to just over 800. Now, some of those are actually Tesla's version four superchargers. This information actually comes from the federal government. They say that there is now more than 800 fast charging sites and more than 2,000 stalls servicing the 130,000 electric cars on the road. Now, I think realistically, it's not enough. It's still not enough. Does that mean though that we should focus on the not enough part or should we focus on what is actually happening, which is a doubling of EV fast charging rollout? Realistically, what is happening, I believe, is that as more EVs are sold in Australia, companies say, you know what, let's build more fast chargers. There's been a 70% increase in EV charging locations this year alone. That's locations helping address the needs of Aussie drivers in regional and suburban communities and reducing wait times for tens of thousands of new EV drivers, said Federal Energy Minister Chris Bowen in a statement. Bowen drives a Tesla Model 3, and he says that the national EV strategy will result in another 1,000 fast charging locations coming online in the next one to two years. So that's, well, a lot more than there is today. In fact, that's more than double, again, the Albanese government is improving access for Australians to drive cleaner, cheaper to run cars while helping households and businesses save thousands, he said. Now, here's the thing. It's not just DC fast chargers that are being rolled out across Australia. I've reported on this on a number of occasions. There's fast chargers now being rolled out on power poles in some suburbs in Australia. They're putting chargers on the side of a power pole. And alternatively, there's also companies putting charges in the actual curbside. In the gutter, they're putting charges on the side of the gutter or they're putting them on power poles. This is a, those are not even included in these numbers. So we're gonna see a huge, massive growth in charging locations, not just DC, but also AC charging locations, meaning it'll be easier than ever to own an EV in 2024. 2025, it'll be even better again. The NRMA is rolling out more than 100 fast charging stations as part of a strategy to ensure that there is a fast charger for every 150 kilometers or about 95 miles, including in remote areas. Tesla says it has expanded the number of supercharger stalls by 65% in 2023 to more than 450. EV Networks says it has more than doubled the number of its sites to 201 in the past 12 months. So gives you an idea here. Some of the biggest charging companies, Tesla, 450, and EV Networks with 201. Bowen says the uptake of EVs is accelerating, helped in part by federal tax incentives, 
which offer a saving of 11,000 a year on a $50,000 EV and makes a base Tesla Model 3 cheaper to lease per month than a petrol powered vehicle like a Mazda 3. Would you really want to own a Mazda 3 over a Tesla Model 3? I think that's kind of a no brainer if you ask me. A Mazda 3, I mean, seriously, you probably won't know what I'm talking about, but you can get an incentive to lease an EV through your business, through your company, um, and that actually reduces the price by $11,000, which is massive. More and more households and businesses are saving thousands of dollars on the upfront and running costs of their vehicles. With our EV discount making leasing EVs and plug-in hybrids cheaper than leasing petrol vehicles in many circumstances, he said. And it's even cheaper if you have solar on your roof. Fortunately, solar growth in Australia over the last 12 months was the highest it has been in history. And that's particularly solar on residential homes. The federal government says that these discounts and benefits have helped quadruple EV sales from 2% in May 2022 to 8.3% in 2023, which is a huge improvement. According to the latest statistics released by DCCEEW, there are now 173,000 EVs in Australia. So if we see another doubling, which we potentially could, we could see uh, you know, up to 350,000 EVs on the roads within say a year and a half. That gives charging companies, that gives Tesla, that gives other brands who basically, the NRMA for example, it incentivizes them to build more charging networks. And because of this growth, going from 2% to 8.3%, they're building more charges as a result. The number of fast charging sites rose gradually and by December 2021, there were 315 fast charging locations around Australia. This rose to 464 in December 2022 and rose more sharply in 2023 to 800 active fast charging sites nationwide. Now, The Driven also reported on this. There's a scramble to roll out DC fast chargers, even power pole chargers before the holiday rush. EV charging networks are scrambling to complete key fast charging facilities ahead of the Christmas and New Year holiday rush, which will no doubt feature some of the 80,000 new EVs that have been added to Australian roads already this year. Tesla has been busy opening new locations. And uh, yeah, I mean, this means that this number, this reported number of 800, by the time you're watching this video, it could be 820, it could be 830. I don't really know, but I know that the rollout is accelerating. Now, a crowd-funded DC charger was installed in a Nullarbor roadhouse to diffuse bottlenecks. So we're seeing lots of different types of chargers, not just Tesla here, it's NRMA, it's also crowdfunding to source people having charges in places where you would never think they would need to be. And the other cool thing happening here is we've seen for the first time, I believe in the history of Australia, battery backed DC fast chargers. In fact, the NRMA rolled out its first battery backed and fastest DC chargers over the past month here in Australia. So essentially when you go and charge your EV at these locations, that battery that you're taking the energy from when you charge your vehicle, it's actually charged through completely regenerative energy. So you know that the, the argument to say EVs are not clean because they use coal for their electricity in Australia, it's actually not true, particularly at these fast charging locations. Now getting to that argument about coal, that's also never been as untrue today as ever. The growth of renewable energy in Australia over the past 12 months has been truly staggering. And I've reported on that on many occasions. What is happening? Solar is being installed at a very, very fast pace. Solar, massive battery packs all around Australia. And renewable energy is growing at just a staggering, a staggering rate to the point where we're seeing now periods in Adelaide where basically only renewables are being used. We're seeing periods of time in New South Wales where renewables are hitting 75%. We're seeing incredible records being broken in Victoria, Queensland, every single state is breaking records when it comes to renewable energy deployment. By 2029, will we hit the 90% goal? I believe we will. So that's Australia over the past 12 months. And I think it's all looking very positive. 2024, what will that hold? A lot more fast charges will be installed. But I think just as importantly, a lot more EVs will be purchased instead of internal combustion engine vehicles. And a lot of those EVs will be cheaper than ever. Thanks for watching.